This is the Mutuka. Mutuka is a all analog synthesizer from Reco Synth. And I'm gonna show here uh, a quick demonstration and it's a video manual for you to understand the functions of this synthesizer. So we have here the first oscillator. This oscillator, we have the saw wave, triangle wave, square wave, the modulation that you can put envelope and the VCO2 and the sync. Let's go first to show the saw wave here. It's actually a ramp, but sounds like a saw also. So here you have a, a small keyboard just for, um, I don't know, just for jamming a little bit, but usually you, you you use the MIDI controller to have more uh, playability. Uh, so let's go to the key. I'm gonna use this little keyboard first because it's more, it's easier for me to explain and show at the video. So here you have the, the range, like the tuning of the oscillator one. So if you want to be on scale, you go with a tuner like this. Put here, find your C, and this is the C here. Micro tuning, like the fine tuning. And here we have saw first. We have triangle. square wave or pulse wave and for the pulse wave you have the width so you can choose between rectangle and more like a square um, now we have the modulation the now uh, um, I'm gonna talk about the VCO2 that it's uh, when I first thought about this synthesizer this was supposed to be a, like a, a good LFO but the VCO2 will be used as a VCO also but first let's think it like a LFO so we're gonna show this putting some VCO2 here and into the modulation and now we're going to begin to hear the VCO2 acting here. Let's see. Let's choose a wave here. We need to choose a wave. Otherwise, it will be quiet, the oscillator. Now I chose the ramp. So we're going to hear the ramp modulating the oscillator one. I'm gonna put uh, and here we have the the amount of the modulation so we have like a little vibrato like a flute sound Taking this oscillator as a LFO, you can use this at the VCO1, you can use on the filter later, and on the VCA. Let's go now for, uh, for the interactions of the, these two little modules here as two oscillators, as two oscillators. Here, now 
one thing it's very important is just to notice this key key is keyboard and midi it's a sterno media and if you put this in the middle just the gate acts no notes for the oscillators so let's see here we're gonna put both on keyboard here and now we're gonna choose this oscillator here as an audio source also so for this we have to put the range up because if you put low it will be as an lfo mixing with the audio and we don't want that we want now to hear this as a second voice of the oscillator so we're gonna put this audio on put another wave like uh, a ramp here a ramp here and now we're gonna have two oscillators go into the future This down, just this oscillator. This up. Both oscillators are acting as audio sources. Uh, now let's go to the future. Oh, and, and another thing here: if you put sync here, movement if you put like an envelope here and Why this is called FM, Mutuka FM? Because you can use the oscillator too as a modulation here in tune, doing like the frequency modulation that's called FM. Not as perfect as a DX7, for example, but it's an analog. Let's see, one, is the one example. this out as audio and we're gonna put VCO2 here and modulation at maximum at maximum <laughs> to the infinite infinite is that a word in english yeah anyway. going to the infinite <laughs> so let's go now for the simple oscillator so let's take this out here uh, a nice ramp wave and i'm gonna show the filter the filter we have the cutoff we have the resonance, if you put in here. Very beautiful, few 
router and here the modulations so you can put the envelope to modulate the filter so here with the amount you can choose the envelope or you can put the VCO2 as an LFO, it's usually what you do. So here you can, or you can put both. Okay, so now the VCA, the VCA you, you have just one knob because you can let the song go through. you close it you have two options or you put the VCO2 here and it will be opening and closing at this rate here or if you take this down you have the envelope going directly to the VCA thing here envelope generator very simple attack the case sustain release and you have this extra switch here that makes the release longer so here you have this release like this and if you put this on it will take maybe five seconds more to go out um, well i think this is what uh, uh, the basic stuff but now we can do like little things like put the envelope here in the oscillator 2 and act this like an envelope uh, as a, a lfo let's see the, the effect of this here uh, let's put this to modulate here So this 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 range here will be controlled also with the envelope. So it's gonna begin like and the envelope will go and makes this LFO lower, like slower. in the visual one here it's like the guitar chord <laughs> I've never done this sound before I just discovered a new sound that I've never <laughs> did this happens Well, there's a MIDI input behind that is select to the channel one. And if you put here to MIDI, now both here, you have the controller moving here. This makes it possible to put sequencers like this. And the second one with a 
here. Now I'm gonna put this oscillator on the MIDI and this one on the keyboard here. And so we can, for example, let's see an example. Uh, let's put this as audio, for example. 